Talk, we're talking to our listeners, and those could be anybody, you know, from anywhere in the world. We have such a wide access to information and to things now that, you know, who knows, maybe somebody will be listening to this conversation and, and it could highlight something that, you know, triggers them to pursue something. And if anything, that's that's my goal behind doing this in the first place mm-hmm. is to motivate people, to inspire people, and... Um, just to let people know that they're not alone, that there is so many different experiences to this life that we live. And, you know, you you might think that you have it all figured out, but there's just so many people and there's so many different places and each culture has a different way of living. I think um, it's, I hate to say something that I'm not 100% sure on, but I think it might be China that doesn't have a word for past tense, you know, mm. or, or maybe it's for future tense. And I, and I should do the research to know that before I, before I say anything, you can touch on it in your but, next podcast. Yeah. But, um, the idea that like they don't have, I think it might be a, a future tense. So that's why they're not ever going into debt is because they, they can't put it off to the future because there is no word for that. So it just creates a whole different lifestyle. If you're not putting something off to the future, because the future, you don't have the words to describe that, we can only think the words that we know. And those words have so many different meanings based on the experiences that we have. And different languages, different places, they're just, they're shaped in different ways and it creates such different lifestyles. Yeah. And I think through this podcast, I'm really interested in touching on what makes, you know, what makes up your lifestyle? What is the style that you live? And are you living every day with a hell yes? You know, and right. if not, why not? I, and I, and I question myself for that quite often. And I don't mean to hog the mic, but I feel like no, I love it. That idea of you know, if this isn't a hell yes for me, then I'm not going to do this. But that's a that's a big leap for people that are not used to deciding what it is that they want to do. And a lot of times, you ask people, "What is it that you want to do?" and nobody really knows. You know, they might be working just because that's what they know. And that might be great. Maybe that's what they want out of their life. Just a simple, um, stress-free, reliable. But the truth is that nothing is ever going to be the same forever. And it's going to constantly change. And you have to embrace that change. And the more we are able to embrace that change and with loving kindness and with compassion the easier it's going to be for all of us and yeah. our relationships are going to be a lot better because of that. Yeah. Um, and we're not going to be projecting onto other people, you know, you made me be this way, you know, or I am this way because of this reason. We take full responsibility of our lives. And I would just encourage all of our listeners out there to, you know, question what are some of the things that you want to put in place um, and know that you're not wrong if you don't follow through with some of those routines. Um, Just keep coming back to, you know, that self-love. Brought to you by Saulgood.org.